Welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. We're currently in the headquarters of 1950 Tumblr, so... Hmm. Yeah, this was... This was also a thing of the times. But let's go back here, because we can. It's always weird how people are like that, no matter the generation. Hi. Hello, who are you? I can't do anything, so we're just gonna watch him for a minute. That's probably disgusting. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, dab will drop you? Didn't you see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Boo. Oh, he's wearing sunglasses. I thought those yeah. were eyebrows. Like okay, he well, big... he's he's going to take that out to somebody, and we're going to take a look around in here while he's not messing around. These What's plates something are about... filthy. I'm not Wait a minute. Eat off of dirty plates, he added something not going to that clean. he said would make people drop. And we have some alcohol on us, and nothing we know there's the a sailor that likes to drink. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor. I got nothing. But I have people who do that for me now. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Hey, a sink. What's in it? The sink is full of dirty hookah water. Hookah? Um, it's... Oh, is that that big pipe thing that has, like, the thing at the end? Yeah, I like think. Like the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland smoke from? Something like that. Yeah. Maybe? I, I, I know it. Ha I know it has something to do with, like, smoking tobacco and stuff. I think, isn't it a water system in that one? Because it's like, it smokes it but it also condenses it into like a water and yeah. just smokes up. I, I don't know. Ex I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it's effectively like smoking tobacco or some yeah. such. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. Ooh, so I don't get the feeling keep your hands those clean. cleaning supplies are used much around here. <laughs> Let the waiter clean up after himself. Well, I guess that's all we got in here. I guess. Oh, let's go drinking. We got nothing. Oh. And she's out! Well. And he just goes on. It's like, yeah, I killed her. What up? And she's already dead. <laughs> That's just what it does. What do you want? Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Man, life's nothing but pain. <laughs> Man. No effect. I'm gonna talk to these guys again. <laughs> no effect. Damn it, that's what Crazy. I get for using an ice type on something stupid. So, uh, what did you think of the poem? I liked it. It was sad and beautiful, like my mother. I despised it. It was too that's short. Sad. It said nothing to me, like my father. I had no feelings about it. It was aloof and licked itself too much, like my cat. Mr. Trotsky. His cat was named Trotsky, really? This is fucking Tumblr in the 1950s. Hey, kids. Sorry, Manny. No room for the bourgeois in our revolution. Yeah, man. No room for the big fat cat from the uptown party that didn't send our invitations to the working class. I want that book, though. Yeah, can I just take it? You know what, fuck it, I'm taking hey, it. What are you guys gonna do about it? Book? No dice, cummerbund. Hmm. Well, the, that guy mentioned a revolution. And they don't seem to believe in us. Hola. What of it, Mr. Wheeler, Mr. Dealer, Mr. Loves the Apples but Hates the Apple Peeler? Well... That, that was stupid. You should feel ashamed for that one. Shame him! Shame this dead man! You know what? Hey guys, I'm uh, I'm a, I'm a guy. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend Salvador Limones? Salvador, Salvador Limones, Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story. The man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. Yeah, I also know him. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. 
You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole What's scene he like? in danger, Bill. He likes raising wow. pigeons. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. And now suddenly they're eating this the crap up. And now that you guys kind of like me, Catch Mutt, sort of, can I? Catch mine if I dug on this book for you know, a while. Sal isn't Mark that is bad of a guy, brother. honestly. Hey, we got the book. We got the book! Yay! Can we check the book? Should probably check the book. That's not the book. Labor that is organization the and revolt made easy. Chapter one: The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. <laughs> He may get ideas. Okay, well, at least for the time being, I think we're done in here. Seems like it. We got our book, so now I guess we gotta go Let's see here. a revolution. Uh, we can take this up. It's an elevator. It takes us back up to our place. That's neat. I like it when the game adds a shortcut. Hey, CBs. Yeah, and then this takes us over to the other thing here. That's the dock. Just in case we didn't want to run around. So... I can look at. Do we want to hit the dock or we want to look around first? Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do here. So, let's go talk to the sea beaks. It is weird that there are giant anthropomorphic bees in here, but we are in the world of the dead, so logic mm, kind of these bees don't seem works too busy. on a different level. Not busy bees. <gasps> cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Ah, Aren't you go. guys in the union? The union? <laughs> He's a bee. He's just fine. Look after out. us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, it... that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Well, that's kind of harsh. Also, is that bee actually a shipwright? Because I think he's building that ship up there. Yep. Cool. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off that. then? We got our pride, man. He was straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution that makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah. Oh, I was wow. gonna say that, but I was thinking I wish I knew words like that. These guys aren't the greatest with words. Not really, no. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You okay. should do it with a gun. I think you're crooked. Bang! You bees now are I being win. exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Well, we don't even get to have sex with the queen. What's with that, man? Well, organize yourself up, then. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Yeah, that kind of destroyed my spirit, too. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, man. I, I told you. Yeah, this just kind of keeps getting deeper, deeper and deeper. Okay, pretty sure I did that top one. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? Wait a minute. <laughs> you guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. Oh, if the union's big enough. Yeah. I feel if like there's the something in here that they're the not. And gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Maximino is really the big boy in town. Obviously. I don't like this Maximino. We've guy. heard that he name gets before. His we keep from some it. hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that hey, that was the town we were originally. Yeah. Really just a big laundromat. 
if you get my drift. You bees oh. gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. Wait, I'm didn't that, that first chapter hungry, say about work workers bee. producing the pro... Uh, controlling the products? Yeah, the didn't we hear something about that? No, don't oh, want that's to not a book. <laughs> that's the printing machine. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter 1. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh. Better not show that to Gladys. Hey, that's exactly kind of like what he was trying to say. Hey, guy. But what with better words that are written well. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships? With the pollen of the exploiting working class! I say we fight back! They're all dead. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Communism hey, exists in the afterlife. We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan. That's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Yeah, in fact, we just saw a lawyer kissing a lady. <gasps> so that may be something, but we need those bees back here so they can stop the bees from working so we can take their tools. Kind of convoluted. Yeah, a little. Um, but you can technically... Like you can technically walk out to the lighthouse out there, but you can't do anything out there yet. Aw. We'll be back. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we haven't been this Ooh, way. What is this? Is that a gate? Hold on, let's go over there. <laughs> this on, gate Manny. only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. Oh, that was the ship that took off. Come on, Manny. <laughs> can we, I don't think we can open the door. Okay. It's not going to let you examine it, but, um... Again, there's just a couple of things that I feel like are a little bit weird about using the point-and-click controls. Like, you should be able to examine some things that the point-and-click controls don't let you examine. Mm -hmm. Like, that door I should be able to examine, but can't. That door is actually where the bone wagon is stored. Oh, okay. Uh, we can't open the door, though, because we're... A small skeleton. Yeah. Glottis is strong enough to do it, though. What's over here? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I had to figure out where he was there. A nice little there zeppelin. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? They do cat races in the afterlife. Yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. Who knew? Well, this doesn't look seedy at all. Kind of like that. It's kind of weird because it's like off in the water part of the dock, but yet it's still kind of a building. Down the hatch. Nick, give me a second. I don't trust this place. I don't trust this hatch. Hey, he's getting carved up. Wait a minute. You look familiar. Potentially. Looks like it hurts. Drinking. That broke like the thing. Can't, I can't really do anything with him. It's Toto Santos, Rubacava's friendly scrimshaw artist. Hey, wait a minute. Somebody said somebody was getting carved up down here. Hola, Toto. Toto. ¿Cómo estás? <sighs> Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. <gasps> it's the guy we're looking for. All right, we just got to make sure he doesn't show up to work. Quick, 
kill him! I mean... Yes, that's what I meant. Binders of tattoo designs. Well, their label would solve our nice, problem. And a third one just says Anchormania. Man, Anchormania. Anchormania. Ooh, Anchormania's running wild up in here. Ooh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... <laughs> I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, other than the other than this one joke, I don't know if this Inez actually comes up at any point. Like I feel like it was just a one-off joke. Probably. And not actually meant to be taken seriously. Ugh, it's not exactly a nice place to live in. A lot of stains for a guy with no bodily fluids. That is a little disturbing. That's concerning. Very. That's one old fridge. It's a nice fridge. Looks like a lettuce crisper. It smells more like a fungus crisper to me. It's weird that these people eat, apparently. It's empty. Ah! Hey! Shut door! You slow down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. <laughs> Ugh, for a guy who does carving tattoos, he apparently seems to enjoy it a little too much. But apparently opening up the fridge slows down the grinder he's using, so... Yeah, and you notice know, if there was a way for me to talk to this guy. What's and the guy is self -medicated. Oh, there we go. I just had to come around to the right side. Or I guess he's just not gonna talk to me. Yeah. Alright, whatever. He's kinda in the middle. And the guy's self-medicating with alcohol to dull pain, so... I got nothing, let's move on. Yeah, I guess that's about all we got here. Oh, pff. I didn't see him being out of the thing. I thought he still had to climb out of it. <laughs> yeah, who's this guy walking over here? <laughs> I didn't even see him. I thought I was waiting for the hatch to open up. Okay, so while we're over here... Is there something down over there? I thought I saw something down That's over there. That's the folding bridge that connects this pier to the base of the cat track. Yeah, we should probably hit it anyway. So this will actually be a nice shortcut for us, because the front of the cat track is actually in a different place. Isn't it up top, like you have to use the elevator to get to it or something? Yeah. So I'm actually going to run around the long way because we got stuff to check out over there anyway. Oh, that's nice. At least we have a shortcut open now. Yeah, and now we, but now we can get in there that way. So there was the elevator at the blue casket. Yep. For being a thing that seems dreary, blue casket actually sounds like an interesting place. Hmm. I mean, the inside's dreary as hell because <laughs> oh, tumbler. It's even tumbler blue. I know. Okay, there's a lot of stuff we can do over here. Is that the cat track? No. No? That's up top. Um, this is the police station. Oh. Very kind of weird looking police station. What's that door, that blue door down there? Oh, uh, let's, I'll get to that in a second. Oh. Well, I point out stuff, but I get no goods. Ah, oh, sorry. Just... It's the bee guy. I'm kind of used to skeletons, not bees. Poor Terry. This is all my fault. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its butts. Get it, because I'm a bee. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Hmm. Hmm. Never heard of an Reward HL offered yet. for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area. Whatever. <laughs> You're just gonna say the same thing again. Okay, let's go ahead and head downstairs. We still need to check out the cat track proper, and there's even more stuff here if you head through there. But I think we're probably gonna end up going in here and. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? 
Oh god, a morgum. <laughs> you know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. So this is, uh... This is kind of disturbing, because he's a florist. Any leads? Autopsy, I know people. it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. Except this scythe. I keep it close to my... where my heart used to be. And honestly, just the idea of I can't find anything with the tools they give me... I think Manny can relate to that. Yeah. I'd hate to end up like this. Then take my advice. Buy an ID bracelet and wear it always. Wouldn't Is match that... my cufflinks. Isn't that the guy who played the doctor in Outlaw Star? I don't know. I think Membrio could really use a nice tropical vacation. I think he wants to get the f crap away from flowers. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime. Oh, every that was day. a perfect opportunity to do blooming instead. Like Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. Ooh, something dark comes this hmm. way. What Strange exactly how it seems to have for? followed us. I am digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. You know, course, I'm going to say it here before we continue. The search could go on for some time. But... Being a coroner in an autops and working with autopsies, no pun intended, that takes a lot of gut and a lot of spirits to especially do something that's kind of horrific in a way. Can I help? So. Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here <laughs> in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. I was about to say a joke about keeping it in the safe <laughs> over there, but... old car and a joke. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well... Forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build. And eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. If you would be so kind. I wonder if flowers even naturally grow. No, I don't. They're unnatural in this world. So, like, the only place they could show up is on is, someone if somebody who's been who gets sprouted. sprouted. Yes. And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubacava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. You live in the Eighth Underworld and you don't believe in the Ninth Underworld at this point? When you have to try so hard to get to it, to only do nothing but fail. Eh, still feels a little faulty. When you, when you hear nothing in the way of success stories of someone who's made it. Well, they wouldn't be able to say anything because they've already made it. It's like hearing about the afterlife. You can in believe the afterlife. You can believe in it all you like, but... <gasps> Deception. That actually makes sense, kind of. <laughs> 
you can hear it or you can believe in it all you like but you're never going to hear from someone who's been there that'd just be awkward my grandpa says you suck oh because i had to die there for a bit okay i think that'll call us for today we've still got a bunch more to explore and we've got a bunch more puzzles to solve until next time everyone go go out there and hug someone and enjoy some flowers while you can <laughs>